Yes. I don't know how to do that. I've never done it. All job. Okay. And what's it gonna look like? R D D. You can play music. You want to play music? I don't need to. I don't have good music. You're up. <laughs> it's okay. Should we be um, turning Atalanta to watch us? Is that what we've been doing? Can do it. What's it got, turns-wise? Uh, yeah, uh, if you come to the right, should take that out. Starboard, you mean? Sorry, Dave. Other languages have words for port and starboard, or just left and right? I don't know. That's a really good question. <laughs> right? It's an interesting question. It's a good question. But the language of the sea is port and starboard. So oh, maybe ask <laughs> Oriel. You would maybe know. Oriel. <laughs> the language of the sea. Gotcha. I love it. In Spanish, are there specific words for port and starboard, or just re left and right? Cool. There you go. Pavor. Oh, Bavor is port. And Estrivor is starboard. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes. So, the answer is Thank yes. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Looks like we started, by the way. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> started. I think uh, Oriel should be on SPL. Yeah. Yeah. He, in could French, it's he could be. French, it's Babord. Does the bridge not have SPL? Oh, he should. Yes, yeah, I'm he... always snitching on everybody. <laughs> right. Oh, there he is. There he is. Because then everybody else oh. can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> not yes, just but us. I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. All this time, <laughs> the web has been missing out on Oriel. Yeah. Yeah. And they had to deal with my terrible pronunciation. <laughs> oh, these guys are so cute. I know, aren't they? <laughs> Aw, well, thank you. I appreciate it. But I, I know I can't roll my R's. I can't either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> can't speak Scottish either, then? No, I definitely can't. Nobody can speak Scottish, not even the Scottish. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. better, better go in for servicing then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll work on that. Probably in my uh, room alone where no one can hear me. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to know. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Do we have an actual start time? Yeah, you want that? Yes, please. Yeah, it's okay. uh, 10.09.54. 10.09.54. Thank you. I'm just going to follow the ship's snail trail. Yep, but cool. soon the ship would fall off the page, so... What it's going to go off the end of the world. The end of the world. Zoom out. Because the world's flat, you see? Yeah, I know it's flat. Like a pizza. <laughs> mm, pizza sounds good. Oh, there was a cheese bread today. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. For you lunch. dinner or? It was lunch. lunch. The meal you always miss. It was Where like... Two different cheeses and some onions just oh, on top well, of flatbread. It. It yeah, yeah it the last good. time we had pizza, I think, was lunch, too. So if you want pizza, you got to go to lunch. Mm. How's breakfast been? 
I know, that's the meal I always miss. Yeah, I haven't had breakfast. Everybody says it's great. Wow. Best yeah. meal on the meal. ship, yeah. 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 I have not made a single one. Copious amounts Period. of bacon, of course, it's the best meal. Yeah. 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 Pancakes, yeah, waffles. Oh, waffles. Yeah, omelet. All what? those waffles have been amazing. Oh, I, I want yet. waffles. Yeah, they say crepes too, right? Almost every day. I really sometimes. want waffles. They're like waffles. skinny pancakes. Mm -hmm. oh, those are like Swedish pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> like pineapple or watermelon. I like it. Yeah, the fruit's <laughs> been good too. Uh, okay, so there's our 24 hour. Yeah, when I pull my all nighter, I'll have breakfast. Yeah, I think I it was know. like I my. I have breakfast for every meal. <laughs> my first breakfast on the Nautilus, I um, saw a big bowl of what I thought was Greek yogurt out. And so I was like, <laughs> oh, yes. is it sour cream? <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> that was that was You're a like, weird oh, awakening. Add a, add a little sugar. It'll be the same ish, right? Mm. Yeah, no. I was just Crab. like so sad. <laughs> I like oh, is that guy missing yeah, a pincer? He is. <laughs> yeah. He's growing it back. Yep. Yeah, grow back. Uh, someone from Germany also says in German there are special words for port and starboard as well. All right. It's yeah. cool. Cool. Did he share them? Uh, yes, but I don't want to try to pronounce it. Uh, I don't know any German. Uh, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, is Zurich. Zurich. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, she probably would have known what they are, right? Yeah, she would yeah. know. Yeah, so so far it seems like most European-based languages have these words. I bet it originates from, you know, whether these these places have a history of, like, high seas, kind of colonization, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, discovering new lands. Mm -hmm. The Spanish and the Germans? Never. M maybe not <laughs> the Germans, but I don't know. Really? Did they have any fleet or ship? They, they did have one port, I guess. World War One, World War Two, the German fleets. Yeah. Yeah. Really? They were massive. Yeah, that's right. And way going way back before then. Mm hmm We still have quite a good efficient fleet today too. Hmm. Yeah, I always forget that Germany has a has a shoreline. It's like this tiny sliver. Hamburg is a pretty big port city. Yeah. Uh, the Google, there's like a Google, uh, it's not like news, it's like Google does these like arts and lifestyle spreads or whatever, and they have a really interesting one on the sauna, their science vessel, that like breaks it down. Well, that sounds interesting. It's really, really cool. I'll be on there in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing? Heading out with Ropos on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. In Guam. Oh, oh very nice. cool. Yeah. So, speaking of Google, I have translate up for German. <laughs> Here it is. Backboard and Steuerboard. Yeah, I could that not sounds have a said lot it like that. Starboard. Backboard yeah. and Steuerboard. Steuerboard. Okay. So there you go. We learned something. Yeah. If we keep learning new words in different languages, yeah. we can all talk different languages. It all started with Dave correcting Josh. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. There's so many Tina fours up there. The etymology of port and starboard is shared with German, Dutch, Swedish, and the French. Also Italian. Oh, there's a bunch of languages. So yeah, they all have their own port and starboards. Spanish as well, yep. Yep, correct.
Pete's just been playing the the Google Translate thing on his phone down here. <laughs> <laughs> Not nearly as good as Oriole's translation. Are we on a hill here? Yeah. I can tell because the lights get brighter. I'll hold you there. Just leave you a bit of string in case you need it. Get dangerous. Mm. No, thank you. Thank you, though. Anyone? I paid for the sugar crash about an hour ago. Thanks in advance.
That fish didn't look too hot. Still haven't seen a halibut yet, though. I was told they were all over the place. I saw one yesterday, I believe. Mm. I missed it. I must have been sleeping or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, they like to be in this area. Got about 100 meters to go. Oh, yeah, that, that happens sometimes. There he goes. I found it. <laughs> yep. I created more of it just for you. Bless you. Oh, super cute friends. <laughs> They just like a little space.
What you guys gonna put here, AJ? A whale. <laughs> cool. Inside the square that we're drawing? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be part of our upcoming whale fall experiment where we, I guess, get a whale. I think the University of Hawaii is our collaborator and they're the ones who are gonna sink the whale for us. Uh, or a university in Hawaii, I'm not sure exactly which one. And, um, oh, do you know? Oh, Hawaii Pacific University has a whale uh, rest, like um, necropsy team, so it's probably oh, who's going to organize that. I can that. look it up instead of spreading misinformation. Um, but yeah, so they're going to sink the whale for us, and we're going to run cables from our observatory and we'll have a stationary camera and then we're also going to outfit Wally with an HD camera and Wally's yeah. going to drive around the whale. Upgraded so that Wally. We're going to have yeah like time time domain spatially varying whale decomposition images. And you guys got some plans, hey? <laughs> Always be planning. Mm. Big plans. That Big sounds plans. fun. It does sound fun. So they're going to drag the whale all the way from Hawaii? Um, I don't know. I think it might be a Canadian whale. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we I have think, to check its passport. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because I think... Um, It'll be opportunistic, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, like, there is an organization in Canada that is responsible for dealing with whales. And so I think that was always where the whale was going to come from. Um, the PI or one of our collaborators is Craig Smith. Yep. And yeah, so Craig Smith uh, retired from the University of Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, that is survey complete. That complete. looks like it, yep. 103148. 48. Sure. Okay, so next up for us is the transit to um, the hydrates? hydrates instrument platform, GB07. Oh, that's going to take a hot minute. <laughs> well, a hot minute we have. <laughs> Where are your hydrates? There you are. I like how they're laying out the plans and it's like source, transport, and place whale. <laughs> it's so simple. Source a whale. <laughs> source a whale. Just get one. Like call someone on the phone. Excuse me, do you have a whale? <laughs> ah, isn't that part of the, uh, not issue, but part of the problem to solve is um, you got you to gotta get them and take them out there within two weeks of them. Um, dying, like they come. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, cause they start to bloat, and then they're a lot yeah. harder yeah. to sink, or they explode, or whatever. Well, the sad thing is that whales get struck by ships. Yes, that is sad. So I usually, know you know, you usually find them quicker than. Yeah. No, I. I but it's, it's also having a, a vessel that can sink yeah. and place yeah. a whale on no standby. Way. Right, exactly. They can just go out. That's the hard part. That's the hard part, yeah. It's like we're not out here on the Nautilus all the time cruising around for whales. I, uh, I found one for you. All right. <laughs> a whale? A uh, vessel. I, I haven't been looking for whales, but if I looked, maybe. Okay. You found a vessel that. All right, that so we're going to go 700 meters, yeah. 240. Great. I don't think we're doing it anymore, though. Um, I'm Talk sorry. Say again, Megan. We're gonna go 700 meters, two four zero at half a knot. 700 meters, two four zero. Hercules. Bridge nav. We got that. Great, thank you. Is this a transect or a transit? No, we're just transiting. Nah, we're Do you transiting. want to go faster? Transit. No, I, well, it's up to AJ and, and Cole. Oh, whatever the ROV's 
happy. I mean, we can do I half and odd and watch the bottom, or we can do an odd and not watch the bottom. We'll do half and odd and watch the bottom, and we can stop half at anything and interesting. That seems to be how we've been getting around. Sounds good. Half knot. Half knot. Half knot. Let's go. What's that thing? What thing? Oh, that pink thing in front of you. An anemone? Hmm. Uh, corally stuff. Can we take a zoom there, please, Pete? Yeah. You tell us. What is it? It is a coral. It's a black coral. Black coral. Ooh, mm -hmm. waving in the wind. Wasn't the other one a black coral? Come wide, please, Pete. Yeah. The yeah. white one very was different. Black the white ones are black yeah. coral. Yeah. They look very different. The ones black coral. It's a pathity. Is this transit up slope, down slope, no slope? Um, it's we're kind of going a little bit up. A little bit up slope. Yeah, yeah. but the through a bit of a valley. Yeah, through like, a bit of a valley. It's kind of got some valley things. Roger. Okay, start. I move. can put the map back on here if you like. Dan no, doesn't. I, I like. You I, like the black. I much prefer that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's very confusing having all the things going on yeah. on the grid. Um. Some current. Okay. We're going to do. One it's of a bit these. gusty. I feel like I should be sipping on a mint julep listening to Blue. Mm -hmm. Oh. Happening. I don't mind. I got. I don't. I don't oh. have a lot of mind. <laughs> I might turn that off then. So something exciting that's happening this afternoon is that we're recovering the fish acoustics experiment. So the fish acoustics experiment is like a camera platform 
that looks at a bait release system and has a hydrophone next to it. So I guess it was to listen to fish talking to one another as they chowed down. Cool. The brilliant thing about the fish acoustics experiment last time we recovered it is that none of the bait released, and so when they hauled it back on deck, it apparently was a very nasty oh, experience. Oh, okay. yeah, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> You've got that and the whalebone. Yeah. It's going to be a fun-smelling ship yeah, tomorrow. The deck is going to be... You could probably follow that back. Full of excitement. There should be a cable going to the IP. Um, this time, I think we redesigned our bait release system, and so far it looks like most of the bait has released safely. So, <laughs> fingers crossed that that bait release doesn't come up smelling terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm still staying well away from that. Yeah, yeah I think <laughs> it's a big nope. Uh, I think we're lucky in that I'll probably be asleep <laughs> when it comes on deck. I think if you guys help recover Herc, then you'll be front and center for that. What's that? Oh, this is the IP? Mm -hmm. Oh. The CTD monument. CTD. Yeah. I got it, man. don't think there's anything else now that you're past the IP. Yeah, that that was the last thing. There's nothing southwest of this IP, so. There's Herc. Push the button. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> you weren't here for the first time, Dave? Heaven no. help us. This is not AJ's first time. Don't forget your seatbelt. Seatbelt. Oh, goodness. Oh yeah, I think it was Danny who was showing him the other time, so other watch. Oh, I can make the boxes smaller, that might be useful. Yeah. Stay within two boxes. You can take a seat. And you can plug in here. <laughs> you can plug into the trainer. You don't want to? All right. And if anybody from ONC yeah. wants to see AJ. <laughs> We are feeding this on uh, <laughs> feed three. Um, can he put a headset on? Is that okay? Can he wear your headset? Is that okay? Or I guess he could wear his headset. Yeah, it's right there.
Thank you. You've been crowned by All Josh. Right. You're streaming to the world, AJ. We've got you on camera. Can I go check something out? Okay. What's okay? So my auto depth Just will kick me up a bit. Slow down a bit. Yeah. So see how quick you're going? Once yeah. you get a hang of the consistent speed, then we'll take auto depth off. All right. So if I go too fast, it might not react in time, and I'll just bury it? Uh, what's that? Like if I speed ahead, yeah. the auto depth might not sort of react in time? No, no, it'll be fine. Oh, OK. It's just that I want to see you have a consistent speed before I take auto depth. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get ahead so I can stop at something. Yeah, that's fine. There's a crab. There's a crab. There's crab. A sure. Boring. Crabby guy. This is your camera yeah. pan and tilt around. Oh, okay, cool. I feel like my lateral is not. I'll change your heading. Lateral, yeah. lateral is not as powerful. It's weak, eh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's smaller thrusters, and it's against the whole broad side of the vehicle. Yeah. You can try a small zoom there, Pete. We'll see how I do. I might lose my coordination. I'll help you out. Nice. The crab looks pretty unhappy. <laughs> so... The he first time like AJ zooms in on anything, it's on a crab's ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He's just looking at us. All right, full wide, Pete. And you got to get going. Yeah, yep. full wide. I'm taking nice. off. Square your camera back up. Yeah, so. There you go. Oh, whoa. Almost whoa. square. Over Keep correction. Going. You got it. You got it. Yeah, there I'm you trying go. to get there her back on track. Almost. There yeah. we go. Lovely. I can feel the current kind of yawing. Yep. Yeah, it's coming. A little bit. It's coming from this way a bit. So is there is there like an automatic resistance to that? Nope. Okay. Nope. You gotta. I've got to compensate it. for that. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now, can we get the back row all talking about which connector? <laughs> they think <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody just, just yeah. it Everybody talk about something really. else and a shift change <laughs> and the most mundane, like ridiculous thing you can think of to talk about. Just AJ, start doing it over the top of each other. Whale? <laughs> <laughs> I, Josh whale. once told us that he prefers it when people are talking while he's working. Well, that's just me. I'm different. Yeah, he prefers it when just he's talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AJ, what is your fourth favorite whale? <laughs> Slow down, AJ. AJ's uh, trying to keep it at flounder. a constant speed, mate. All right. He's, AJ's more of a Ferrari guy than, uh, <laughs> than a minivan guy. <laughs> what do you drive, AJ? A I have Ferrari. a Honda Fit. Honda Fit. Yeah, buddy. You can fit a lot of stuff in a Honda Fit. If you yeah, can fit AJ in a Honda Fit, then... <laughs> that's why they call it the Fit. Yeah. What's your fourth favorite whale? Mm -hmm. 
for this upcoming shift change, we should all switch positions in here. Change be places. <laughs> They'd be so confused. Oh, it just gets kind of caught in that current, eh? Yeah, buddy. Yep. You're also Wait. getting quite close to the end of your reach. Yeah, yeah. so you're starting down. to pull on out yeah. the land and now. So what you really want to do is now do your very best to stay on this snail trail. Yeah. And a little close to it, Atalanta. Sure. Slow down mostly, mostly when you're on uh, auto depth, oh. you can fly by nav more than you can fly by the screen. The GVL's screen. a little bit off. Yeah. So I'll reset you, and that'll make it easier. Do you have to take off? Oh, yeah. You There's go, no go auto XY. It. Yeah, Roger, Roger. So you're actually over there. Yeah, that's not your fault. That's All Megan's right. fault. Let's go this way. Roger. When we speed up, it just does this. Are you saying it's not your fault? I'm saying I'm responsible for making it less my fault. <laughs> <laughs> that is, are you a lawyer? <laughs> that was very, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a well done. Oh. Ooh. Another crab. We, we bumped him earlier today. You can stop and look at that. Oh yeah, yeah we go. did. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. No, we bumped a different crab. Oh, oh. yeah. The crab they we bumped like was a Paralomus. Oh. I wonder if they're all playing hide and seek for They each do other. like rocks. They kind of like to put their butt against rocks. Yeah. I'm struggling here. You got it. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. <laughs> beep, beep. It's so slow. Backing up is, yeah, slower than going forward. Oh. Because the thrusters, because, uh, you know, the way they're placed. All right. Well, I'm going to get going so that I'm not behind yep. Atalanta. That's a good space from Atalanta that you're not now. Right now? Yeah. All right. Well, let's just carry on then. Let's just carry on. Yeah, anywhere between here and right underneath it, basically. Don't know what that is. Hey, Dave. <laughs> that there? big pile of yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah, there's please? a flounder over there. Rockfish, oh. some anemones. I'm looking for a halibut. Find me a halibut. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's that over there? Uh, an anemone. Or, halibut. Or a dab or That's something. A blob? It's an anemone. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a rock. Oh, yeah. oh that is a and rock. And a sponge. There's a sponge, sponge there. Mm. Sponge. A big sponge. Big yellow sponge. Ooh. Holy moly. That's a tall one. Can't go look at it in... Uh, Auto depth. <laughs> Let's just crash it with the board. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been fine, Mitt. The ROV does turn left and right. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the Zoolander edition. Yeah. <laughs> it turn left. It's an Ambi Turner. <laughs> I had that problem when I was learning how to surf. I couldn't turn left. <laughs> I actually have that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm almost yeah, always turning right. Yeah. But, yeah. But that's because I'm used to snowboarding and wakeboarding where you, oh, oh God, here right come there. the jokes. That's but, you know, you're goofy, you're regular. Right. What you want, so that's close. Okay. Most I was just kind of when I start to go like pros, this, I have a hard time. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Get it back without going but a little like, faster. You know, if you want to keep going on one of those really long, slow waves. Gonna have to kind of carve back and forth a little bit. Yeah, it's tough. Great, you guys get paid to do this? <laughs> You're paid to do this and complain? <laughs> well, two, yeah. Two jobs. Absolutely. <laughs> now, do this and watch everything on that screen in front of you and tell me if you've got a ground fault, what your gauges are doing. Uh, hey, AG, what's your delta? What's your delta? Hey, AG, what's your heading? meters. Nice. He knows. Nice. Yep, nailing it. All right. What's your wraps? 
Oh, I don't know wraps. <laughs> don't know where that one is. When's the last time you checked your gauges? <laughs> Dave checked the gauges ages ago. <laughs> nice. That is good. That is what Dave I would do. It. I love it. <laughs> Dave's <laughs> make. <laughs> Also, remember, you have to consistently be able to make fun of Dirk while you're doing this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that part kind of takes care of itself, though. <laughs> You'd think so, but sometimes you got to put some effort in. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Otherwise, the material gets stale. <laughs> It's more responsive than I thought it would be. Well, I guess it depends. Like, it's not so much in the current, but when you do kind of get it lined up, mm -hmm. I sort of thought it would be sort of slower to stop. Yeah, that's... Like, the inertia that's, of the system. Right, yeah. I can feel the consistency coming in now. I was just starting to think it's about time to take the auto depth out. Right as he's starting to make a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right at shift change, <laughs> maybe you, after you, shift change. You like that line? Well, you're li yeah, your line's starting to be really straight. It's getting there. Yeah. And you're keeping your head in within 60 degrees of what it should be, so. <laughs> Six zero. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bar you've set. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, video is in a watch change. Have a great night. Cheers, Pete. Have a good one. Driving the bus. Yeah, literally anyone. Pick me up on the side of the road. Thanks, Megan. See you tomorrow, man. Yeah, slow down again, AJ. What's that? Slow down again. Okay. It looks like I'm okay. You see, you see I want to be closer. Just the speed of things that are traveling past. Yeah. Good morning from your new dive chief. Good morning, <laughs> dive chief Mel and I. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Mel and I? We're going where AJ takes us. <laughs> okay. Flounder. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Let's get him with them lasers. <laughs> Stop laser beaming him. What are oh, you, Buzz Lightyear? I almost got one of his two disgusting eyes. <laughs> There's a cable off to our left. Oh man, now you really sound like an ROV guy. That's just me. That's just me. It's just you. Actually, it's dive yeah, lead. That's dive lead. Zoop. Right across his eye. Unfazed. Are we actually following his cable? Uh, it's probably the one that runs between our two sites, so yes, oh. informally we are. Interesting. 
Yes, informally we are. Stretch it out a bit again before we start to take those autos off. All right. I'll try to go faster without going too fast. Yeah, that's the key. That's the ticket. What are all these floating translucent things? Tina fours. Tina fours. So when do I get to do like a push core or something? The manipulator's next cruise. I actually got it hop on the manipulator for a sec. Danny showed me. Nice. Just during descent, so I didn't get to do anything with it. You weren't like Lynette and you grabbed the suction hose? You didn't? Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lynette. Spill the beans. I played with the manipulator the other day. Did you grab the suction hose? I sure did. Did you suck anything? No. Uh, it, was it lets you grab the suction hose? Yeah. So jealous. Yeah. <laughs> One step at a time, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to move it around. No, I think we were ascending when I did it, so uh, there wasn't really anything to suck. That's the best time to learn the manip. Yeah. Is on the ascent, because... You break it? How's that for distance? I'm, I'm a bit in front. You're good. No more further in front. So, correct me if I'm wrong, Dave. This is vertical up, so pull down to vertical up. Yeah, so it's push. inverted. And that's it. It's All right. If so you think how, about how it in terms it of an aircraft, it's the right way around. So your Yeah, depth, I know. It's, just, it's called uh, inverted, yeah. Altitude is here. Yeah. That's what you're going to try and maintain. Okay. 2.8. It's probably easier to just do it visually, but it yeah. he's already bumped you up. You want to be keeping 1.5. Whenever the auto depth is on, if he's pulling, if you pull the stick, yeah. it changes your set point and you start coming up or going down depending on what you've done I with see. the stick. Right? So, so I should just leave this on and just no, take nope. it off. Oh, take it off. Take it off. And here? now you got yep, yep. And now you got control of your verts and try and stay to two meters for now. All right. Two While it's still moving forward, All don't right. forget to go forward and. AJ, you have to watch your delta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mel and I. Thank you, Mel. Got to get a feel for its responsiveness. Yeah. If you don't plow into the mud, I'll give you the 50 bucks that I actually owe Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the Kid 30 bucks. No, Worth Trevor, it. we talked. We <laughs> God. Why am I arguing about that, by the way? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> about the $50? Well, no. Never mind. It's, <laughs> it's complicated enough that it's not funny. Yeah. Keep moving forward. Yeah, I'm just letting Adelaide have to catch up a little. Roger. It's right above you if you look up here. It's pretty much right above you. Okay. I can That's put a classic a bit more situation distance. is falling trap to looking at the nav, but not the cameras. The cameras are real, the nav is not. There we go. There's a view of yourself in Atalanta. Yeah. Just keep it in the middle there. Is that what I hear them talk about? Yeah. Dan calls it. The box. Yeah, that'll work for not. Keep it in the box. Yeah, don't trust the nav data. We just invent data over here. We just make it up as we go. Yeah. <laughs> I like these things that glow. I mean, you hit them with the lasers, they turn green. Okay, AJ, um, just like a Dirk, uh, because we're not doing anything cool. <laughs> just like, you could just <laughs> uh, leave. <laughs> so,
So how good is the auto X wide and auto auto depth? Like or the stick lock, it's, I guess. Like the stick lock's pretty good. So the the, stick the auto depth and the X Y are a little slow. But so the stick lock only does you have auto heading as well? Oh yeah you do. You do. So you can put it in stick lock forward and auto heading forward and it'll compensate yaw for you. No. You have to set all of it. The stick lock just fixes it to whatever demands you put on the thrusters. Right, but the auto heading should fight the yaw, right? Yeah, it will. Yeah. Hey, to Dave, a certain the, degree. Uh, the auto XY is only slow if you set your max velocity to slow. You can set it to whatever you'd like. Yeah. Yeah, you can go a knot if you want. Oh, coming up. Shouldn't be doing that. Too low, too low. <laughs> Working on it. If you look underneath, you see all your vis starting to kick up. Yeah. That's from your... That's from me. Shoving a load of ups in, yeah. Thrusting, yeah. I have to find the spot that's more like... That keeps me neutral. I guess because I float naturally. Yeah, but every time, whenever you've got a little bit of a head on, you got your verts bumping, you got a little bit of laterals going, so you're taking flow from various places. Yeah. So every, every time you put a thruster input in, that dynamic changes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Jelly. And I guess it's all shared hydraulic power in a way. So if you're going full up on one thruster, do you, like if you're only operating one thruster at a time, does it have more power available to it? Do you feel that in the controls? If you're going ahead only, then you can go ahead pretty quick. But as right. soon as you put something else in, it does right. start to yeah. back off just a little. It's not until you're really pushing in all directions that you'll notice a pressure drop. Mm. This is coming up quite steep. I love to know why we're flickering so much though. I scared that fish. It's nice having the cable to kind of follow. Like I'm not, I'm trying to just trying to keep in line with the ship, but we happen to be following the cable. Yeah, it's much easier if you try and keep that center camera. Yeah. I just don't know if it might take a bit of a dog leg compared to where we're going, so I'm not going to yeah. put too much attention to it. It's still a good reference at this point. So you guys have any openings for ROV pilots? I don't know, talk to Trevor. I don't hire people, but yeah. I can't hear Trevor at all. Why don't you listen? Oh, there you go. I could see how this would get tiring for 12 hours. I'm tired just watching you. I'm tired just watching it. Okay. Kick up some dust.
Not much to look at out this way. Nope. How long have we got left to run, Lynette? 150 meters on the ship move. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. That's a cool flounder. <coughs> yeah, it is. Can I go look at it? Uh, yeah. This is your dive team speaking. It's you okay for you to go look at it. I give, give you permission. Zoom there, Jacob. Right to that. Just a little. I'm not good enough for the full zoom. What you looking at, AJ? What am I looking at? Yeah. I'm trying to look at this flounder. See how your vis is starting to dust up? Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting away from it. All right, Jacob, come, come wide. All right. Pulling away, back Whoa. on heading and start moving. Yeah. Just and watch her I was altitude. coming up in the water column because uh -huh. I didn't feel like... Uh, Try not to overcompensate though, don't go down too quick. Yeah. Let's get back on track here. Yep. Spot on. Starting to get the a little bit more feel for it. Like the first time you do anything, it's like hard, hard, overcorrect, overcorrect, <laughs> back and yep. forth. Just take time, man. I'll get out in That's front it. of our Atlanta a little. So does it handle like a minivan? It, yeah, sh sure. Okay. Like a like a Toyota Sienna. The laterals on my Sienna are not very good. I guess for these transits, though, you would just keep it in auto head and auto altitude, so you wouldn't be like glued to it like I am. Yeah. So they get they get easier for you. It's not like you're doing this like all the time. When you're training, when you're learning, then yeah. Then yeah, then you do it. Learn how to do it without the, the autos before you bang all the autos in. Right, right, right. Because when the autos go wrong, yeah, you need to be able to. Yeah. Keep it all under control. Quickly. Makes sense. Going back downhill Welcome again. Back. Back. So 
Sorry? You're going back downhill again. Yeah. Oh, is that why? Uh, AJ? Yes, sir. You're getting the yank. Okay. A little, little left tap on the shoulder. Yeah, sure. Should Here. I put it I in got auto? This. Yeah, you want to put I got it in it. autos for me? Yeah. Oh, All right. Out of death is on. All right. I got it. You can switch out. You got to oh, press the button. Blocked. Nice and job, And watch AJ. your headset. Don't forget to... Thanks, ROV guys. That was a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, so forward, backward, lateral left, lateral right, grab and twist for turn left okay. and right. All right. This is going down quite steep. Okay, I'm just going to bring him. I'll get him uh, closer. Stand by. Okay. Okay, sounds good. You're only 1.7 up. That's what I'm saying, it's quite steep. Yeah. Sorry, we're so we're on auto depths. Sure. Looks like I'm falling behind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah. I'm veering. Oh. Yeah, you can slow down quite a bit. Yeah, I'm off. Okay. So you're saying twist is to turn here? That's right. Okay. Don't focus on your nav quite so much. Look out yep. the window, you'll see what's going on. Oh, yeah. yeah it's just a lot of and just glance back and keep a check. Yeah. Okay. But keep your speed down. Yeah. Ludicrous speed. Definitely speeds. warp speed here. Yeah. You're looking good. Oh, keep am going. I down? No, yeah. you're good. You're good. Back Don't. End is in the mud. Don't worry about that. It'll be all right. Okay. Found that cable. You're all right. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm getting a feel for the yeah the turn now. Yeah. You're just, now you're getting a little far ahead, but okay. I'll you don't want to take it all off. You just. Yeah. The turn's almost like uncharacteristically responsive, or yeah. like it's it's I should say disproportionately responsive compared to the other two. So it takes a minute. Just watch your heading. You basically need to be following the ship, yeah, not the cable. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm getting distracted here. So I want to pass over this. Looks like. Go lat laterals a bit. Yeah, oh, you I can see. use your laterals, yeah. Okay. Just getting the hang of it, folks. Watch your speed again. Yeah. Just slow down a touch. Yeah. So if we train enough of you guys up, we don't have to do anything anymore? You don't have to do any transects at least, or transits. Nice. Put us on transit watch. Yeah, except for Dirk always leaves the van immediately when we start anything like this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what is that down there? Fall in, fall no. in something. Oh, is this where the whale like fall was? Oh, yeah. is it? Okay. Uh, it's nearby. We did a transect of where the whale fall was going to be 
Are we going uphill now? Yeah, uh, probably. Four. Slow down, slow yeah, down. Nice yeah, and yeah, slow. Yeah, there yeah, you nice go. Slow, let her come up. Yeah. I'm real, You're all right. Real close. Yeah. There you go. You're good. The, You're the good. whale fall that we inspected before, I think is at a different Don't site. forget to look at your nav once in a while, see how far yeah, away you are. I'm drifting. Yeah, you're good. There we go. Steer oh. clear of that cable there. Yeah, you're all right. Now that he's going uphill, is the auto depth like? Well, the altimeter it's, is it's in, in the back, yeah. Uh, it's not quite, oh. but. Oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. On you it. We made it. We we're at the IP. Or something. Is this where we're going? Uh, Are we yeah, there? I think so. Yeah, oh. all right, I think we can take yeah, it over this then. This is Barkley Hydrates IP. Yeah. Thank you. Well done, well done, scientists. Yeah, you, you didn't get it stuck in the CTD monument. That's already, it's already better. I didn't expect to get there that quick. I didn't know we were there. No. Is the ship stopped? Okay. All right, Barkley Hydrates. We'll take a position and heading on this IP. All right. Dave almost took it himself. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Oh, can you hear me, Dave? Yeah. Unfortunately. This headset, or this one, you can't hear yourself. Okay. AJ? Yep. Position and heading on this IP. Okay. I can't hear you guys. Just turn your volume up. I wish I could make myself louder in your ear. Wouldn't that be fun? There we go. Okay, official inspection of the IP. IP inspection. Do we have time for a horizontal transect? What, IP inspection first? Yeah. Okay, roger. Boop, boop, boop. We got some numbers. And see what we're going to do before I deal with that Atlanta. Yeah, because I got to come around to the turn to my right. And go around the other way. So our orders are to recover the ROV at 9, and it's 4.30, and all we have to do is pick up the chicken bucket without the cable. So I think we have time for a horizontal transect. I thought, didn't weren't they in this dive plan, or were they only in the... Okay, so let me, yeah, because they're site specific, so I don't know where to find, if it's not in the dive plan, I don't know where to find the Barkley hydrates. Yeah, let's see what we have here. I know we had those coral cliff ones that we already did. Part A does not have it listed. Part B has the coral cliffs. 
Yeah, but no, no random transects. No, I looked. Hey, Pete. Oh, hi, Jacob. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Oh, Good. is this? Can, you, uh, can we zoom in on this stuff? Roger that. This is the node, that's what I was looking at. Yep. I can't make up my mind if I like these or not. <laughs> They're delicious. Oh, these guys are best friends. Look at them holding hands. All right, well, let's just pick two headings, and we'll go 500 meters, and then we'll turn, and we'll go 500 meters again. Leave them right there. Okay, Jake. Tempting Josh. Oh. Is that how far the previous Why transect distances were? It was 500, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, perfect. Lovely. Let's turn the down Zero, max, okay. 360. Generate. Oh, that's nicer. Okay, we'll go 206. And then we'll go 88. So, nav. Yep. Can you set up a transect from this location that takes us 500 meters at a bearing of 206? And then 500 meters at a bearing of 088. 088 from the first waypoint? From, yeah, from the end of the first transect. Okay. And then whenever everyone's ready, we can start with that horizontal transect. So we'll go between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 knots. And we'll try to keep a meter, meter and a half off the seabed. And we'll get the camera zoomed just out past the arms with the lasers on. Listen to him now. Like flies the ROV a couple of times now. Thinks he knows everything. I know. Like Jesus. See Christ. what happens. I, like, <laughs> I just read off the page, Dave. <laughs> what did we say the bearing was going to be? Two zero. Two zero six. Okay, close enough to where we were before. Leave it there somewhere. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Yep, just need to set the camera and the lights. Okay. Get the ship moving, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so that's where we want the camera, but we're going to zoom it in a little, please, Jacob, just past the, yeah, right there. And then lasers are on. What? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they've right. been on this whole time. Wow. Been on the, yeah. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Good morning. Uh, okay, what else do we got to do? Camera is looking down a bit, quite a bit more Too than much? it was before. Okay, come wide, please, Jacob. And Hold I'll wide. get this to the forks. Oh, stand mm -hmm. by. Oh, come wide. All the way wide. Oops, sorry about that. All the way. That is all the way okay, wide. Okay, so, okay, so I am lined up. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, now you can go ahead. 
Perfect. Right there. Yeah. Okay. And that's it, right? Yep. I think we've got darn lights off this time, but oh, wow, well, we should it probably might. Yeah, there you go. Just keep it consistent. Uh, where is this? Let's see if I can come down anymore. I was closer to the bottom. You, uh, you're going uphill quite pretty, steep. Pretty uphill. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. I'm ready when you're ready, Lynn. Okay. Back row, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Bridge now. Good morning. Can we move 100 meters to zero 05, please? Thank you. Go ahead. Um, point five. Zero point five knots. Thank you. So there shouldn't be anything tall in your way from the IP206. You will be passing over Wally land. So you'll see a few markers uh, and then a steep incline. So just be aware. Roger. Yeah, maybe we'll see some hydrates along the way. Yeah. Okay, starting transect. Okay. Got that time captured in case anyone wants it. I'm uh, I'm gonna make like Dirk and leave. Roger. Lauren saved. <laughs> Let's go to check gauges, man. Roger. Number two. Oh, you did the same thing that I did. Poxy thing. Yay. Uh, Rez is up there anyway. So. Keep that the same. I have a question. Four. May I ask it? For everyone. Ooh. Sure. What's the most bizarre thing you guys ever discovered on Nautilus Live? To be honest, I haven't watched much of Nautilus Live outside of our operations. But, I don't know, as for bizarre things, I saw a lawn chair once. Just like at the bottom of some super deep dive we were doing. I was just standing upright. It was very jarring. That's pretty bizarre. So bizarre.
We've got ourselves a Tina Four show here. Yeah, there's a lot of them in this area. Show of Tina Force. Welcome to the Tina Force show. Do you want to try to increase speed to 0 0.7? Uh, I don't think they want the, the transects, transects have all been at 0.5. With the ship move or with Hercules? This is a transect, so the ship's been 0.5 no, and the ROV's yeah, been 0.5. Yeah, we don't 5. want to speed up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Atalanta will start moving and then we'll all be in sync. Yeah, we just won't be moving 0.5. The ship will. What's that? We won't be moving 0.5. The ship will be moving 0.5. We'll be going slower. Explain that physics to me. Because this gets a lot of layback. Yeah, yeah. but eventually moves. it will start moving 0.5, right? It has to. It has to. <laughs> How can the ship move 0.5 and us move slower forever? Because we're going to get a ton of layback. The ship's going to stop at some point, and then we're going to swing back in. We're not going to get there the same time the ship gets there. Correct. Um, anyways, th we did this same transect uh, at the start of our shift, and so we're doing it. So okay. consistency, I guess. Okay. Dun, 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 but now we're not going so much upslope, are we? Nope. There we go, now we're moving. Now we're cooking with... Oops, too fast. I uh, watch the Delta right now, I'll give you five out. Roger. What is that? There we go. Sea cucumber, maybe. Yep. You ever tried one? Skinny one? I uh, heard it's uh, uh, like noodles. Uh, no, I have not tried. That seems not very appetizing. Like noodles? Yep. I like seeing the Tinovores in the Atalanta camera more than I like seeing them in the Herx cameras right now. They like glow more. They're pretty cool. What are you? Easy, easy, easy. There we go. That's a thorny head. Hello, thorny head. Hello, Marley. <laughs> what? I did that on purpose. That was funny. <laughs> I didn't know we got audio on these. Videos? Yeah. Yeah, it's the funniest thing ever, sometimes. I'm lost a little bit. That's okay. I'm lost usually. <laughs> <laughs> so, the bathroom door? Yeah, no. Do you see the sign on it? No, what, what does the sign say? It says, please leave this door open, and it's been closed forever. Now I don't know what to do. Wait, what? Which, I, which one? I have not seen the that. The one, I don't know, near our cat, where Rump's in. Do you in know between that deck. There, it's like been locked for names. days. Been locked. Yeah, and Josh was trying to have an argument with me, saying that, no, it's been open. Well, it has. I've seen it open, but then now, <laughs> since you pointed it out, I've never seen it open. There's just one of the heads back there that's just locked? Yeah, yes. bro. Like somebody went in there, locked it, and climbed out, or they're just still in there. Oh, it's in the starboard side one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. On the huh. left when you're looking at No, backwards. no, no, port. It's the port side. But, right? There's no yeah. way to get out of the port side one. The starboard side one's got the exit hatch, mm -hmm. but Somebody's you're in. You're in it. We have to go Is save this Is there anybody person. missing? Who's missing, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about who was missing yesterday, and I didn't notice anybody missing. So I'm either, There's like, no ship screw down there. super rude and forgot, or... <laughs> Someone just left it open. Huh. Yeah, super mystery. Have you tried just unlocking it? How do you unlock it? 
from the outside. Probably like a key or like a, I don't like have a, a key. Not a key, a uh, screwdriver. No, I've not tried that. I have tried to put my finger on top of the red thing and like push it. Yeah, no, yeah. That, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I also tried to just like open it and push it. Didn't mm. work either. Weird. What was that? So several, several people have tried to open it. How hard have I tried? I can't even hear you, Lynette. I can only kind of hear you. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I also tried to push it open, but it was sort of a half-hearted attempt. I'm very curious now. I kind of want to go investigate. Same. You I know, didn't want to break the door. There, right? It's super weird. Yeah. I mean, I think it like you can lock it from the inside and still pull it shut. Oh it's no! It's not like it's not like oh. a deadbolt situation. How is, right. how is that true? <laughs> that can't, Maybe I'll go investigate. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for going. If you get it open, I'll be so happy. I hope he gets it open and then he and then somebody's just been showering for like a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that I would be so worried. Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nobody's been missing. Yeah, I was talking with Josh yesterday on the aft deck, and I'm like, I'm concerned. And he's <laughs> looking at me like, why? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I was, I was quite lost. <clears throat> but that's a major flaw, to be able to lock it from the inside and then yeah, close it. Yeah, it is. I mean, a lot of doors work that way. Yeah. They usually, they usually have it. a fail safe, yeah, yeah where you can you, open it from the outside. Well, you can open this one from the outside with a failsafe. I would imagine there is some way to unlock it from yeah. the outside. Usually you like, there's a little hole and you put a yeah. poke a thing. Like a pin or something. Yeah. In. Yep. If he comes back and gets it open. Oh, he will have. That's He's the, Trevor. He's going to do it. That's the good shower down there. And See, no one's oh. been that's able the, to use that's it. That's the only one. That's I'm the only person that likes using the other shower. Really? Yeah. Much bigger fan of the other one. Hmm. I like I like that big shower. However, I do not like the ocean that is accumulated at my feet. Yeah, exactly. I'm not That's, about it. That is the worst part. <laughs> I think it's I like, great. It's I like, like standing in just a just standing just right standing in your own filth. <laughs> well, what you, you guys don't like baths. <laughs> That's different. I shower and then I bath. Yeah, that's that's how you keep your baths clean. Shower first. I just get in the hot tub and I don't do either. Yeah, <laughs> marinades in your own soup. <laughs> yeah. It's a hot tub. It's full of chemicals. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Josh, what's the most bizarre thing you ever discovered on Nautilus Live? Ooh, maybe this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> discovered on Nautilus Live. Uh, let me think about He's that. He's back. Is it solved? Status update. Door's open. Yay! Oh, nice. Did you get there and it was open? No, I opened it. How did you open it? Screwdriver. Nice. Was there a person inside? Yeah. Dead, just one dead body, though. So that's okay. okay. <laughs> oh, rough. <laughs> get rid of the evidence. Um, you cannot lock it. While the door is open, sorry, if you lock it while the door is open, it won't close. So someone oh, really? locked it with a screwdriver. What? Huh. Maybe someone's just been reserving it as their private head. Oh, my God. Oh, if we <laughs> find sneaky, that out in the eh? next 48 hours. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> be hell to pay. Oh. Can you imagine? Just having your screwdriver, pocket screwdriver, like, is now, it like now we got this huge game of Clue. Did yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, is some, or is it, it like, broken? You. And they're like, don't use it. And now it's open and it's going to no, explode. No, because they would have put a sign on. Somebody put yeah, a sign on that think. said, keep the door open. That, that, that's that been sign's there been on there months. since the entire time. Okay, oh, well then man. hopefully they would put a sign on if it was Bridge broken. Nav. That sign must be the Chekhov's gun. Can we have another 100 meters 205, please? You'd think Thank they'd you. put a sign on it saying it's broken. <clears throat> but, yeah, you know. If it was out of order. Put a sign on. Did you test One everything would in there? Think. Absolutely not. You saw fast. <laughs> I tested the door. Did you put uh, the powder to see whose fingerprints it was? <laughs> you know, I, I didn't. <laughs> but I now it's I yours. I can't believe you didn't now do that. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> You've contaminated the evidence uh, at this it, point. Yeah. It's you run around in there yeah. with a black light. Like, <laughs> don't yeah. do, nope, don't do that. <laughs> Absolutely not recommended. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm so grateful that you opened that door. I was getting so yeah, annoyed. Now, now somebody, whoever's been doing it, is going to block it again as their private bathroom. But now you all know how to open it. Yeah, but I think we better have Ev put a camera. Yeah, good ca idea. Camera in the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom to see who's doing Can we it. borrow one of Hercules' cameras? <laughs> no, you just need a camera on the outside of the bathroom. Uh, that's more, more okay. <laughs> So, yep. now, so then Ed knows every time somebody goes in there. Ed knows. <laughs> <laughs> Ed on sentry duty. Yeah. Who else lives down there? Maybe it was Pete. Maybe it was Justin. Maybe it was Josh, who looked not concerned as I was when I was telling him. Oh, evidence. I don't know how to use a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ROV pilot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Josh has got motive, means, and opportunity, right? Because he likes that shower better <laughs> than the other shower. <laughs> yeah, but that's the wrong shower for me. I already, we already went over that. <coughs> motive. My motive is that I want everybody to experience the big shower. Like, <laughs> like. Everyone must love the shower yes, like I do. Love it. Wait, do you like the big shower? Yes. You're a big shower fan. I'm the only one. Hmm. Apparently. Yep. Confirmed. There's not enough light in the other one. Yeah, it's great. Do you not shower in the dark? Uh, at home because I have a nice big window that I, you don't want to. You want to shower in the darkness. Darkness. Yeah. How I do you? <laughs> I got to think about this. <laughs> Choose your words. What if you drop the soap? Don't drop the soap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everybody <laughs> drops the soap. No. <laughs> Only you do. And then you go swimming for it in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> okay. Well, and I got herself with that one. Yeah, I love when you give yourself <laughs> so much. That's, that's my favorite. Tell a joke just to make yourself happy. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but if you drop, and if you drop the soap in the little shower, not only is it too dark to find it, it's also too cramped. So you're bonking your head, leaning over to get it. That's it. You just leave it there. I can, I can totally <laughs> see you trying to reach for it and bonk. Right? <laughs> huh. How, how have they been draining recently? Usually the big shower drains. During, during the during calm? shower. No, no problem. <laughs> Okay. During the, the calm. calm seas, it's been great. Just make a little pond in the big shower and just wash back and forth. You no, gotta, no. you gotta Lovely. monitor like what our list is. Like right. if, if we're listing to port, right? Oh, you're big in showers and no go. <laughs> no, absolutely, it is no. a bathtub. <laughs> Put a starboard list. Here we go. Here we go. Big shower tub. <laughs> but then the ship turns right in the middle of your shower. Ugh. You have farther to fall in the big shower, you know? You always got to call the bridge to see which way, what they're doing before you go shower in there. Uh, bridge, shower. <laughs> bridge, shower. Bridge, <laughs> shower. <laughs> what is our heading for the next 10? 088, I think. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? I guess you get a sink in the shower, so that's kind of nice. Yes, that is what I you like. You can wash your hands while you're, you know, <laughs> wash your hands while you're showering. Yeah, it's something I often want to do. No, I put my shampoo bottles Some in the coral. sink. Some hmm. Yeah. How many shampoo bottles do you have? One shampoo, one conditioner. Oh, I see. For but where is the soap? <laughs> where is the soap? Uh, soap's in the carry-all thing that's already in there. Mm. Communal soap. Roger. Or it's on the in the soup <laughs> when I drop it. <laughs> the soap broth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> soap soup. Soap and foot broth. Gross.
Is AJ gone? I yeah, he is for now. Bye bye. So if we're done this transecting stuff before nine, can we come up at seven thirty or is that? I thought we were long? grabbing a, a bucket. I think well we're we're trying to fill time. Take a I bucket. know like the goal is to come up at nine or to be up by nine. Um but I don't know if we can think of anything else to do after this, to be honest. I mean... Did we not get a chicken bucket? Or are we are getting a chicken bucket? That's going to be at the very end. Mm. Yeah, but our resident scientists will be really happy with all this footage. They'll have a lot to play with. Awesome. This guy. Bridge, nav. Look at all those corals. So much. Can we calls. have one zero zero two one zero, please? Thank you. That sea star looks very yeah, like Squidward. Yeah, Squidward, uh, Squidward the sea star. Or Patrick. Patrick. Oh, that's the one I wanted, sorry. Yeah. See, I'm terrible with names. Mm -hmm. Absolutely terrible. It's not my fault. I mean, we must be getting kind of close to uh, Wally Land. So we might see some hydrate outcrops. What's a hydrate outcrop? Is that where bubbles come out of the floor? Yeah. And like these hydrates, they'll they'll be in solid form at first, but they kind of sublimate underwater. So that's where you see the the bubbles. Yeah, earlier in this expedition, we tried to catch some bubbles, but we couldn't find any. I remember AJ and Dirk being really bummed about that. Yeah. Some That's of a our big rockfish. Yeah. Some of our stakeholders were saying it might be dependent on the tides. So during high tide, it might suppress the bubbles um, from sublimating out. Do you mind explaining further about why that might be? Well, I don't know too much about it, besides the point that there's more mass floating over. Mm. Uh, so like, if there's more ocean above it, it's gonna have a harder time sublimating out. Mm -hmm. Higher pressure and all that. Mm. <coughs> <clears throat> How much? Um, what is the change in like tide? Like how high does it come when it's between like low oh tide and stuff? I don't know this info. That I feel like that's totally Googleable, which is what I will do right now. Nah, it's not really for in here, but it's a little bit too heavy. Thank you. I'm down to do that. 
Stop calling Marley. me that. That's twice. Titterino. Software doesn't have like an auto centering. It just doesn't work very well or something. Uh, oh, it's like always. Yeah. Oh, fall behind. Come on. Let's go. Looks like there's like a four meter change in tide height. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds right. We get crazy tides around here. They're a lot more predictable than inland too. Approaching big moon, full moon. Moon phase has nothing to do with tides, does it? I, I don't it does. It. Oh, really? It totally does. Yeah, <coughs> everything to do with it. So full moon is is springtime. Spring strong, tide, I mean? Yeah, much okay. stronger. Greater change in tide. So does that mean that the moon phase is actually, like the moon is physically getting closer to us? Nope. Or no, it, it's, um, it has to do with the positioning of the sun and the moon. You so, know, new, so new moon would be the spring tide. Both, new moon and, and full moon. But I know, like, master at understanding it, but I feel like both new moon and full moon pull the tide much farther than it would at half moon. Hmm. I like to think of it as like a water magnet. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know. You guys ever watch um, Avatar: The Last Airbender? Absolutely, yes. I've seen it as a kid, but I don't remember much. Thank you, thank you, Jacob. It's just like when the celestial bodies, like the full moon and or no moon, has a big part in honing in on their abilities, which is practically the elements that they're trying to control. Okay. Like, one of those 
waterbenders turns into a bloodbenders only during full moon. Hmm. Just falling behind. Oh, you got it. Do you know much about tenophores, Sean? Only that they are not considered uh, jellyfish. <clears throat> um, what kind of questions are you getting regarding that? My own. Okay. Curiosity. Well, I mean, if you see those little rainbow patterns on the sides, those are created by these little tiny whip-like structures on the sides. I, I don't know what their proper term is on um, tenophores, but they're kind of like cilia. Um, and so they, yeah, they wave back and forth, and because they're so small, they kind of give off this refractionary property. But yeah, that's how they move around. Yeah, it only comes from the light that we project onto it. Yeah. It's not naturally a carrying light. You got it. And they also have this kind of amorphous looking mouth structure that they can just envelop their prey in. Oh, wow. Yeah. So when they're kind of closed up like this, it's closed, but they can open it really wide and just totally envelop their prey. What 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 kind of things do they eat? Other jellies. They can eat other tenophores too. Um, but they're pretty opportunistic. I want to compare it to a um, what is that thing called a, a, a sea cucumber before I call it a jellyfish, but that's just me. Well, <coughs> that would get quick. They're, they're actually... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sea cucumbers actually belong to another, an entirely different phylum. Um, they're echinoderms, so they're more related to starfish than they are to these jellies. Do we have to, like, is our transect done? No, we're still heading halfway to the halfway mark. Cool. Pretty looking white thing on the corner that just left the screen. I don't really speak French, but I kind of got this comment. Bonjour. Was that it? Bonjour? Oh, no. You want me to try and read the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> bon courage à vous. Uh, merci de parler en direct. Says a magnificent video. Oh, that's nice. Mag magnifique video. You know how to speak French. Where's Jeb? He can Jeb do this. really knows. Jeb and May, I'm pretty sure, got this. Je sais un petit peu. Mais je ne pratique pas pour longtemps. You can speak French, right? What? Can you read that? <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I took French in college, but I don't remember much of it. It's a beautiful language. Good morning, good luck to you, and thank you for sharing these beautiful videos live. <laughs> Well,
most of my French comes from uh, reading packaging in Canada. <laughs> <It's just laughs> Cereal boxes? Yes. Trevor, it's like, oh, I picked French. this up. It's on the wrong side. Yeah, like one of the first French words I learned, I think, was like gagné or whatever, like to win because oh, yeah, of all gagné. the like because of all the like awards that you could get yeah. from your cereal boxes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Be in to win. Gagné. Yeah. English and French have a weird relationship. The yeah. People are the language. They, they uh, I was saying the language. <laughs> so, you know, early English borrows heavily from French because yeah. at some point... It was the Norman Conquest. It yes. Kind of went over. The English were occupied yep. for a while. And now it's kind of gone back the other way where a lot of French words are being borrowed. Yeah. Uh, or English words are being borrowed in the French language. Um, but you'll actually see a, a marked difference between French French and Quebecois French because yep. there's uh, you know there's there's quite like a movement over there to try and be as French as possible. So, for example, they won't put stop on their stop signs. So they'll put array, things like that, just to you know. Yeah, there's preserve French their language. French language police. Yeah. 